Al-Qaeda-linked Islamic resistance fighters have recently stepped up attacks across Somalia. It is killing and injuring numerous soldiers including high-ranking officials of the Ghadar administration of the country every day. According to local sources, Islamic resistance fighters have managed to recapture the fledgling areas of Huron state in the past few days of fighting. After recapturing the areas, Al-Shabaab fighters have now intensified their attacks towards the capital. Attacks are being carried out targeting high-ranking officials of the government there. According to sources, Al-Shabaab has carried out seven consecutive attacks on the country's capital, Mogadishu, on October 1. These include a successful attack on the country's special forces in the Baghdad area of the capital, Mogadishu, where the Mujahideen detonated two blasts targeting the military convoy of special forces. An armored vehicle was destroyed. Nine soldiers were killed in it. The Mujahideen carried out their second successful attack on the day in the town of Balad, north of the capital Mogadishu, where Mujahideen attacked the convoy of Somali Special Police Force Commander-in-Chief General, Farin Karuli. In this, the police commissioner and four other high-ranking officers of the government were killed. In this heroic operation by the Mujahideen in the city, 13 other military personnel accompanied by the commissioner of police were seriously injured. Meanwhile, Two cars of the convoy were destroyed and several others were damaged. In the same city, the Mujahideen detonated powerful bombs targeting a convoy of government militias, so that at least nine soldiers of Gadda's army were killed. Meanwhile, Harakatish Shabab Mujahideen launched another daring attack in Ifzawi town, southwest of the capital, where seven soldiers of Somali special forces were killed and more than 16 soldiers were injured in the ambush of Mujahideen. On the other hand, Al-Shabaab Mujahideen carried out two separate attacks in Juba and Bay states of the capital. In both places, Mujahideen ambushed the Ghadar militia gathering place, and in that more than eight Ghadar soldiers were killed. Along with that, two vehicles of the military forces were left behind. Considering the overall situation, Islamic analysts consider the Mogadishu siege and victory to be a matter of time.